Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is going to be my June budget setup. Um, we're going to jump right in. I am using the Sarah Marie's um, Humble Beginnings Budget Planner. She does have a YouTube channel and an Etsy. I'll link her Etsy down below. This is for 2024. It has been sold out um, since she launched it last year, but she is in the works of making the 2025 one so definitely be on the lookout for that if you do enjoy what you see um i'm not like partner with her i just love her stuff i also use her budget sticker kit um she does have these budget like humble beginning planner sticker kits so that's what i use i just use a monthly view and then i use expense tracking stickers in my monthly view and then just some decorative things. So we're gonna set up my June budget as well as just my categories over here for my weekly check-in and then also gonna go over and put in my numbers for my sinking funds. I did do a closeout for May sinking funds. If you missed that video, I will also link that down below or up in the cards, but we're gonna jump right in. Um, I think I'm going to, let's just go over here. Hope you guys can see this. Let's do this, let's fold it. Also, sorry if the lighting is like weird. It's kind of gloomy today in the Bay Area, which is weird because it's been so nice. Um, I just like to highlight and make these lines pop a little more just to help um, separate the weeks. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And then every week I do track, whoa, I'm not on the line. Every week I do track um, five variable categories, which is going to be my groceries, eating out, gas, parking for work, and then any kind of personal spending. So I'm not gonna fill in every week, but that's I'll do that later. Um, but then we'll go over to my June budget and we'll get that set up. So I do have a few income streams. Restaurant is gonna be my main. Online, I do do a few different things online. So I do have a few things coming in through that. And then bonus is just any kind of like maybe cash back from credit card rewards or um, like a fetch. No, I don't actually don't include that. Like maybe a Rakuten check that will come through, something like that. Um, is that, is that, are they called Rakuten? Yeah, they're called Rakuten. I've been with them forever and I think they were called something else. And I'm like, am I calling it something different? Um, and I also don't share my income, um, just a personal preference. So yes. Okay, now we're gonna jump into variable expenses. These are um, amounts that change from month to month, and that's why they're variable. We don't know how much rent is. I usually budget 1200, it's usually below that. Um, I do rent for this amount because our water and our gas is included, so that changes every month while our like parking and our rent stay the same, like that's always gonna be the same and like our pet deposit or rent, pet fee, um, that stays the same, but then the, when the water and the gas is included, it's different, so um, that's invariable. Groceries, I usually budget 350 and this works really well for me. Um, I am usually pretty under that, so that's awesome. And I do eat at home majority of my meals, so love that. Eating out, I'm gonna budget 100 this week. And then gas, I'm gonna budget 200. I am going to Hawaii the end of the month, but I do have to run, I probably have to drive to Sacramento probably twice, so will probably be close to this um, because I tend to only get gas like every other week when I'm not, when I'm just here in the Bay Area. Personal, I'm giving 100, um, but with those two trips, it'll probably push in close to the 200. 
personal um, parking. I've been under my parking budget, which is amazing, but I'm gonna just keep it at 200 just, just in case. I do have the wiggle room, so I'm just gonna have that in there just to give myself that, that room. Clipper, what happened to my pen? Clipper, I'm gonna do 20. I think I have about 20 on my Clipper card right now, but I'm just gonna put that in there just in case I do need to add a little more. Um, that is my public transportation like card that I use. And then toll, I'm gonna budget 125. This is to cross the bridges. It does automatically take out of my account after it reaches a certain threshold. And then electric is going to be 70. It's been around 70 the last couple months. I may need to bump it up though because we do have, um, we do have AC in our apartment now, which we didn't before. And so I'm not used to that. So we'll have to see over this, what June's bill is. And I may need to adjust that come August. I'm hoping to put in at least a thousand into my sinking funds. This is variable because I do cash stuff my sinking funds um, from week to week and that just really depends on the money I'm bringing in from work. I do cash stuff my all my tips as a bartender. I'm a bartender in a restaurant and I have cash stuff my cash and credit tips that I take home every week. My paychecks go into my bank so that's like separate from my cash stuffing. Okay, so we have a total of 3300 and 65. Now I'll go over to variable. I mean, like, I don't know. I hate writing on this edge. Okay, so first is my Acorns account. I love Acorns. I literally just put $50 a month. There's a $3 charge to use it, and it just pushes money into an account, and it's like a portfolio for like stocks and bonds and things, and so invest your money for you. Um, and it, I just let it grow. I don't touch it. I just push money in there. I could bump it up. You can put however much you want. I think I started out with like $20 a month. You can also do like a rollover from like your bank account. Like say you keep, you know, the change, it'll round up to the dollar and then keep that change, which is really cool. Um, I always have a link down below if you guys are ever curious to looking into that. I just think it's a fun way to just like have a diff I like to ver what is it called diversify there we go I like to diversify where I'm investing my money and like saving my money and I think that's just like a fun way to do it and you can like set it to be like moderately aggressive really aggressive like how you want your money to be invested um my phone is 89 this fee I need to figure out what I'm doing with this. Um, so this is a website fee for my coaching. I've talked about this before. I used to be an online health coach and I've kind of stepped back from that and I haven't really been working it. I do have a couple people that I keep up with, but it's not like I used to run like big monthly groups and I just don't do that anymore. Um, but that's just a website to keep my, or fee to keep my website open. Um, car loan is $329.49, <clears throat> excuse me, and then my Apple memory is $9.99, which uh, I'm so kind of annoyed. I went on my birthday to get a new phone. My boyfriend got me a new phone for my birthday, and we ended up getting a new plan too, like, cause he, I don't know, the sales guy convinced us to get the new plan too. And I'm on his, so he's like the main account holder. And now we don't have access to Apple Music. So like our old plan had Apple Music included, like we didn't have to pay extra. And now we have to pay extra for it. So I may need to do that, which I'm not happy about which I told him, I'm like, maybe we should look into like the family plan for Apple Music because he uses Apple Music on the daily, same, same as I, but I don't know. I, I was like, dang it, I know they always do that whenever, like I, excuse me, I used to have um, uh, AT&T and one time they got me, I had like 
grandfathered in with the original iPhone, unlimited data, like all this stuff. And like a few years later, they were like, oh, well, you don't use that much data. Like based on this, your average is this. So like if you got this plan, you know, you would still be under the data. And as soon as I switched, I started going over data. I was like, of course, like, I don't know how they do it. It's just like, there's ways, I don't know. Um, okay, dental is 12, vision is 17, and then my health insurance is 103.24. Life insurance is 273.57. And this I is another option for investing. So my life insurance account is set up for obviously a death benefit, but it does have a cash value built into it. So it is a way for me to save for retirement. So I love life insurance. Um, it's a great option for investing and saving for your future um, because it does have that. The, it should have that built into it. If you're just getting like a basic life insurance, then you should find a different one. Although life insurance in general is very important. So if you have other plans, that's good. Um, this is a hub that I'm a part of for like an accountability. And then this is an app that I'm subscribed to for like a mentorship. Um, and then with this all adds up to 963.19. So looking good about a little over four on um my expenses so definitely have to make sure i make that in the month okay so now we're gonna move over to sorry i've got my sinking my little cheat sheets over here because i didn't want to mess anything up before i filmed um now we're gonna do my sinking funds so we're just gonna plug in the beginning numbers and then we'll call it good so beauty I'm starting with 67. So how I got these numbers, if you go watch that video, you'll see I walked through like what I spent in the month, what I was able to push away, and then um, basically the numbers from all of that. Bentley is starting with 151, and then my car maintenance is starting with 316. Um, we are a few days into the month, so I do need to pull some money out of here and do a weekly check-in because I have done some shopping. Well, not shopping. I went and got a car wash. Finally, my car was so bad. Okay, clothes started with 125 and then date night is starting with 45. Um, I wonder if I should like just go all the way down. I think I say this every time I do this. Fun is starting with 120. Groomers is starting with 82, which I'm so sad. I'm also like really glad I've talked about it in the past, how I um, was thinking about buying like a bundle from my groomers because it was cheaper that way. Well, I got an email a few days ago saying that they were closing at the end of June. So I'm really glad I didn't end up doing that. I'm sure they probably would have reimbursed like those things, but I'm glad I just didn't like front it and then, you know, be out that money. Household is starting with 66 and then self care is starting with 130 because I almost just paid for it out of like my bank account supplements is starting with 75 and then we go into my more long-term sinking funds and these this is body this is my membership for my online on-demand workouts that I use so that's 57 car insurance is starting with 230 <clears throat> car tags ugh, is starting with 19 and then Christmas we're starting with 460 David is starting with 320 Disneyland 
is starting with 35. It's hard to see. Um, let's see, future baby, a few more is starting with 520 and hair is 350. I also got a hair appointment with my girl in Sacramento. That's why I have to drive twice because I have to go get my hair cut and colored and then like a week later I have to go drop Bentley off. I tried to get them to get closer together but I couldn't. I had to take what I can take um, but I'm really excited to be seeing her again. Holidays and gifts, which is HG, is starting with 121. Planners is starting with 70. Um, tattoo is starting with 660. And then the last one, travel, is starting with 820. I'm hoping by the end of the month, because I am going to be going to Hawaii that last week of June we are leaving so I'm hoping that we can get to a thousand in here so that'll be a nice solid like for food for spending I don't plan on like buying anything maybe like I don't know one thing for myself like a shirt but it'll mainly be for like food and like excursions because I do want to go to Pearl Harbor we're going to Oahu I want to go to Pearl Harbor and I want to hike Diamond Head and I think I want to go to ha Han Hanum I don't know how to say it <laughs> Mana Bay and snorkel um so it'll mainly be for things like that but other than that I plan to just relax by the pool or on the beach and chill and not spend on shopping and stuff that I don't need um okay and then this is a total of four thousand eight hundred and thirty nine which is awesome um these are just this is just like little savings buckets you know that i have for different categories that come up that are pretty consistent in my life so i like to save for them um but yeah guys that's it for this budget setup i hope that you guys enjoyed um i hope you guys are doing well I think I just jumped into it and didn't even ask how you guys are doing, but let me know how you guys are doing down below if you're ready for summer. I know I am. I'm ready for like warmer weather um, and it's been really nice here in the Bay Area. So I hope it's been good for you where you're at and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, I hope that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.